My name is Jordan Mays Rowland, and I'm responsible for overcoming negativity. What's up, everybody? It's Shane Johnson, and I'm here to tell you guys today about my iron story. Hello, everyone. My name is Edward Turner, and I'm here to tell you about my iron story. I think like many people, my iron story begins with Mr. Brown. He was my freshman year biology school teacher, and he shocked me because he was one of the few professors I had that was never willing to accept just okay from me. He always wanted to see excellence. So when he approached me with this idea of a program he wanted to start called Iron, I was a bit apprehensive, a little nervous at first, but once I gave it a try, I absolutely fell in love with it. I mean, I love the brotherhood, the camaraderie, the positivity. It was exactly what I was looking for in a community. I just didn't even know it yet. At first, Iron was a program that I got dragged to by my teammates. After getting into the routine of going, I began to love the lessons that each meeting tried to instill in us. There was a sense of community that, con that I connected with in a diverse group of individuals with a common goal, you know, to get better. Uh, this ethos with the, mixed with the fun activities we got to do um, and that try to hold us accountable and teach us valuable lessons led me to stick around through, with Iron throughout my whole uh, high school career. Ninth grade, started out at Amherst High School. And Mr. Brown was a teacher at the time. And I had been rolling around with the bad crew, doing bad things and he happened to approach me and ask me what I wanted to do with my life. If I wanted to go to college, um, did I have goals and what they were? We sat and talked about it. Currently, I uh, have graduated from my university and I spent my first year out working at a car consignment startup. Uh, my next big adventure though is I'm gonna be moving out to Seattle. I'll be working at Amazon as a software developer. I owe Iron a lot for this. If it wasn't for Iron, I would have never gotten to VCU. Actually, it was an Iron event that um, that I, Mr. Brown forced upon me at the last minute, um, and went to the campus, and I fell in love with VCU. And I mean, the, the rest was history. But I owe Iron a ton, a ton, um, from learning to network. Uh, writing a resume, even a tie a tie, it, skills that you should have learned but just were never taught to me. I did all the 5Ks. Um, I helped clean around the community, community service. I helped give out stuff at Daily Bread. Any type of community service that Mr. Brown had, he made sure I was there. Uh, two, two of my favorite events, honestly, were the mock interviews and volunteering at the soup kitchens. The mock interviews because they, they really exposed me and prepared me to the, the professional environment that I would later have to walk in. It showed me how to conduct an interview, how to prepare, how to succeed at it. Um, as well as the soup kitchen volunteering, it showed me how to be more of a compassionate leader, how to pour out energy for the good of other people because that was the right thing to do. He wanted me to try out for a step team that he had. And I used to dance a lot back then. I was big into dancing. so. We did a step team tryout, and I became the captain of it. I was in ninth grade, and we had seniors in that in that step team. I ended up becoming the captain, and we went to colleges and stepped. We did we made stepping videos. We had practices weekly, and I enjoyed that a lot. Where I am now, I currently live in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm no longer in Amherst. Um, got two jobs. I got some big plans coming up. I haven't really told nobody this, but I guess I'll tell Mr. Brown because he means a lot to me. I just signed with a modeling and acting agency, so you might see me in Netflix original soon. I have a master's degree and a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, both from Virginia Tech. Go Hokies. And I'm currently living in Huntsville, Alabama. I work as a systems engineer for the Boeing company, and I do analysis on anti-missile systems. I assure you it's, it's a lot less exciting than it sounds. but. How I got here was directly tied to what I learned in Iron and how it transformed me into a leader. I'd say Iron was less like a stepping stone that I used to get across a river. It was more like arms pulling me out of a river. I didn't really have a direction when I was in high school. I was floating. I 
I knew I wanted to go to college. I knew I wanted to succeed. But I didn't really know how I, as the quiet, introverted follower that I was, could ever be that leader type person. Could, could ever step out and, and go and say, grab the, the success that I wanted. And the IRON program showed me how to do that. Um, it, it is important that people support IRON because there are these skills. These skills that you're expected to know when you become an adult, but were never taught to you. These, the, we all go through these classes uh, in school, and I know we think, you know, why are we here? What are we doing? And end up 10 years, 15 years down the road, we're not using any of them. But the lessons I learned while in the program, I still utilize today. And I'll never forget all of those fun meetings and events that I was part of, you know, back in Amherst County High School. And it's all due to iron. It's important that we support iron because it's making a real change in men and women's lives. You know, the that stirring, that feeling of hopefulness you get when you see a child succeed or you see someone overcome their adversity and manage to change the very course of their lives. Iron is doing that. And when we support IRON, when we fund IRON, we are supporting training and teaching young men and women how to be leaders, how to be professionals, how to overcome their situations. And not just that, we're also changing the school system. We're, we're changing the culture of the school system in a positive way. Our brotherhood was one of the most inclusive and diverse in our entire school. We actively opposed bullying and we made it one of our goals to encourage positivity and hopefulness in our future. We held each other to a higher standard. We lifted each other up constantly. We became a brotherhood and a community of positivity. And when you support iron, you support giving that to the next generation. We created a generation that lifted each other up, that challenged each other to be better and to do better. And we need to support iron so that that continues, so that we continue building up the next generation. We continue overcoming negativity and we continue making iron lives.